Now you may look at a picture like this and wonder what race this man is. Is this a white man with black splotches on his face or this is a black man with white splotches on his face? From the hair and the features, it may be difficult to tell, but the fact of the matter is this is a Negro. This is a Negro suffering from vitiligo, and this is the very same disease that Michael Jackson had, and basically what it does is it diminishes the melanin and causes the naturally brown skin to turn pale. Basically, it is deficient in melanin, and it turns like this. He basically turns white. That is the very same thing that this young lady suffers from. This is her original natural self. This is her uh, progression of the disease. And this is when the uh, progression of the disease is complete. It has basically turned her skin completely pale. Now she's fortunate because she's a beautiful young lady as a uh, brown skinned girl and also as a whiter skinned girl. It doesn't always work out as well as it did for her. Now, given the choice, most people would prefer to be completely brown or completely white. Michael Jackson had his choice. He made his choice because a person like this does not have the option to go back to this because going back to this would be curing the disease. And that just doesn't happen. Reversing this and going back to this. The only alternative is to either remain like this or go completely like this. In her case, it happened naturally. Michael Jackson sped up the process so that he basically would look more normal rather than look like this. He was not trying to be white or look right. white. He was trying to simply look normal. These are some more images of albinism and what it does. This is a black girl with white skin and blonde hair. She suffers from albinism. She is deficient in melanin. Melanin gives pigmentation to the skin, the hair, and the eyes. Here is another black couple that have produced two children who are albinos as well. They suffer from albinism, have white skin, and blonde hair. Now, here is a white girl. This is not an albino. This is a regular white girl. This is her before she went into the tanning salon. This was her natural complexion. I want to go back again to show that she is just as white naturally as these albinos. The difference is that the albinos do not have the ability to tan as she does. She goes from this to this and that is her preference. Here is another example. This is a well-known European person before her tan and after. Same person. Notice her skin, notice her hair. Now let's go back. These are the albinos. Notice the skin and notice the hair. This is a black girl. This is a Latino girl. These are two black girls with tan, pale skin, blonde hair. This is a Caucasian girl with pale skin, blonde hair before she is tan and after she is tan. Here's another before and after picture. And here is another before and after. Here is a black man who suffers from something else. It's called invitiligo. And basically it's the same thing Michael Jackson had, turning him white. We're going to go through some more pictures of black people that have, uh, there's a young black boy with uh, albinism. Here's a black kid in Africa. That's his mother with black kid as albinism. Here's another black child with albinism. Here is a, another uh, girl with albinism. That is her sister. This is in Panama. Here's a, another child with albinism. Here is a uh, group of black children in Africa who all have albinism with white skin and blonde hair. Here's a, another black child. That is his little sister that's on his shoulders with white skin. Here is a mother carrying her child that has the albinism disease as well. Now you know this looks like a little white baby other than that the features are still Negroid. Here is a, another couple with their two black children who happen to have albinism which gives them white skin and blonde hair. Here's another black kid with blonde hair and white skin. Here are three children who are sitting in the front of the class because albinism also affects your eyes. Here are three, two black children with 